you guesstimate for us, I mean, given what you, what's been seen already and how many stars um, have shown evidence of planets, how many planets that might be suitable for life are out there? Oh. <laughs> well... <laughs> I, you can say a lot if that's easy. Yes, I, I think it's fair to say that um, when we only knew about our own planetary system, we thought all the other stars uh, in the galaxy would have systems of planets just like our own. Was that because we were good scientists or good predictors? No, we were myopic. And we had grown up under a certain set of conditions, and then for hundreds of years we'd worked out theories to convince ourselves that of course it had to be the case. Now, predicting the architectures of planets orbiting other stars is surely an easier task than predicting whether those planets actually have life. And we didn't get the first part right. So what I'm saying is at this point, we have no ability to pontificate about what fraction of stars in the galaxy mm -hmm. have planets like the Earth that actually might be habitable, have liquid water. But to give a number, there are something like 100 billion stars in the galaxy. So even if the occurrence of life is very rare, there still could be many systems to look at.